he made some changes on Tuesday evening and they could have been risky, but you they worked in your favour. You came away with a point. What was the most pleasing thing about the display? Um, I mean, a lot of the changes were, were forced anyway. They weren't really, I didn't have too much option with a lot of them um, due to people's sort of condition, carrying knocks, people being ill, you know, people not being out of play or not, us feeling they weren't, wouldn't be at their best if they played two games in such a short space of time, then leading into obviously the Charlton game on Friday. So um, the most pleasing thing was was the character and the resilience shown from the team, um, you know, which is brilliant to be to be a goal behind three times in a, a real tough tough game like that one is is tremendous, and the character that was shown was brilliant. Is getting a result out of a game like that, a, a windy Tuesday night in Rotherham, a real kind of mark of the character and how far the players have come in such a, a short space of time, really? Definitely, especially as it was such a young team that um, that we fielded, you know. But I, I wasn't concerned. I knew exactly what Rotherham would, would bring to the party. You know, under no illusions there, we'd done our homework on them. Um, and as you said, it could be deemed as a risk to put out so many young players but I didn't feel that at all because I know these young players and yes they, they are young but they've, they've got they've got real guts um, and they have got this this character that we talk about and um, I wasn't worried I, I, the team I put out I expected to win the game um, in the end because of the way it sort of panned out and went probably happy with the point um, but also I honestly felt we would get we'd come away with all three and you know, there's a part of me a little bit disappointed we didn't after that kind of performance, surely that gives you a selection headache for the Charlton game, whether you reintroduce those the, the, the faces that were rested or had um, being rested imposed upon you. Will that be part of your thought process for tomorrow evening? Yeah, well, obviously I've got, you know, the the players that didn't travel to, um, to Rotherham are all available again now, as we say. So with the right amount of TLC and, and, and work with the physios, they've all become available again, which is fantastic. It's a great situation to be in. I'm now off the back of a you know, a one nil win against the top of the table, Norwich. So, you know, then the other boys obviously the ground at that result at Rotherham. So we've now got a load of players who are in an exceptionally good place and spirits are very, very high. Confidence is now sort of through the roof. Um, the biggest danger now is, is probably allowing complacency to, to creep in, which, you know, we're third bottom, for goodness sake. So that's certainly not going to be in my in my psyche. I won't allow that to creep into the players. As you said, that there's an opportunity tomorrow night to actually come out of that bottom, bottom three for the first time in the entire season, which is no more of a carrot than you can dangle in front of players, really, surely. No, it, I mean... It, it would be brilliant, you know, and you think, you know, coming out of the bottom three is, you know... You After all these results, yeah. it's still well, bottom three. Well, and I say we, we just, you know, it seems like I've been doing a job for ages and we, we keep on getting positive, great results on the back of good performances and we're still in the bottom three. So it, sh it shows how far adrift we were before, to be perfectly honest, and it shows what an amazing sort of run of games these players have put together. So, you know, I think we, could, we need to give them full credit um, but it would be it would be brilliant. It'd be just a nice feeling. I think it'd just be that relief just to get out of the bottom three, and then we can start you know start climbing the table and work on where we go from there. Obviously, you made changes on on Tuesday evening. You've got a lot of players in the squad that haven't really featured very much. Sort of Chris Darvey, Pat Roberts, for example, who has been a, a great impact kind of substitute for you. Is that because you're protecting the younger players, or is it because you're utilising your squad to its full extent? It's a little bit of both, really. Um, I mean, the game's come thick and fast, and it's going to be a squad effort throughout the course of this season, without a doubt. Um, certainly, just going into the next international window, you know, we we play now Friday, Tuesday, Saturday, um, Wednesday, Saturday. So it's 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 a crazy amount of games, and and people will be called upon, and we've got a lot of people chomping at the bit, waiting to ever go. Um, and the good thing is now these, you know, at the start of the season we had a, a, a very young squad, a load of kids. Now we've got good young players who are gaining that little bit of experience who I've got no no qualms about playing in games. Um, they seem to have grown. I mean, you know those players better than anybody does because you've been with them for such a long time. But even to, to me as an outsider, they, they look as though they have grown on the pitch in a, a short space of time. They, they need to be in the right environment. Young players, you can, you can ruin them um, a lot easier than you can get the best out of them. You need to understand... 
You need to understand them. You need to set them up to succeed. You need to pick and choose when they play, how long they play, the amount of training they get. All the all these things you need to take in, into consideration, and you need to know the individual. You know, they're not just a player; they're a person, and you need to understand the person as much as what they can bring on a, on the football field. Um, and I've I've been in a privileged position whereby I took the under 18s at this club. I've taken the under 21s, and I know all the young players. I know what they can do. I know where they struggle. And you know, I've, I've put my faith in in lots of them already. And I'll more and more as the season goes on, where you see the young players starting in games. Um, you know, but listen, they've, they've got to be they've got to be good enough. They've got to warrant their place. They've got to earn it. I want people who are going to fight in training every single day. Um, and when they get the chance, they've got to take it. So, you know, let's say there's a lot of games coming up now in a short period of time, and you'll be seeing a lot of these players playing without a doubt. And finally, in terms of Charlton, a London derby, does that mean the form goes out of the window? Obviously, they're playing very, very well. Fulham are now on a really good run of form. Is it a leveller, or are you ex- are you expecting a kind of feisty London occasion? Yeah, I think I, th- well, I think it'll be a leveller. I think certainly derby games, you know, generally are. But um, I expect it to be a lively, feisty affair. If we if we want to get something out of this game, which obviously we do, you know, we're gonna have to work hard and and be creative and and take it off them because they're not gonna just just roll over and, and give it to us easily. You know, they're a strong, resolute, tough team to break down. Um, but we've got we've got clever creative players in on our own team that, that are more than capable of doing that. And under the floodlights at Craven Cottage, is there a better place to play your football? No, I love it. I mean, I, you know, as, as a player, I've had some unbelievable nights uh, at the cottage and listen, in my short tenure as Fulham caretaker manager, I've, you know, the, the Bolton game was, was out of this world and, um, you know, Donny, Donny in the cup was, was great, but Bolton was sensational and I'm looking for the same again against Charlton. We wish you luck. Thank you very much.